Hello everyone, this is Dunter Collect here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Despair from the Mar uh, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness wave. So let's go over the packaging. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top, Marvel logo, Despair, here is the side art of Despair here, looks pretty cool. Here is the back with another picture of Despair with the description if you guys want to pause and read that. Marvel Legends logo here on the top corner, here we are building Runtra. Uh, so we already did Doctor Strange, Wong, America Chavez, uh, Master Mordo. Still need to do Astral Form Strange. Uh, doing Despair right now. And then we already did Sleepwalker. Here's the other side. There's nothing on the top. And then here is the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Despair out of the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get Rindra's, I believe. Doesn't give me really... I'm guessing this is his left leg. Yeah, I'm going with, no, right leg. I'm going to say right leg on this one. So we'll say right leg. And then we get these, like, clawed hands here, which look really cool. We've seen these before. This is just completely painted white. So that looks really good. We get two of those, one for each hand. And then we get his cape here, which is completely whited on one side. And you get this really cool collar look with these rips along the edges. And then you get all these holes and rips going on throughout the cape, which I think looks pretty cool. Worn down. There's a little bit of paint splotching there from the black. I think I think this side is actually painted, so I think uh, the white paint just kind of got missed a little bit. And then here's the other side with the black. And you get this like really cool collar piece here to connect it all and you get still these rips here around the shoulders and you get this nice texturing going on here in the inner part of the cape with the black look so that looks pretty cool and yeah and then this this side of the collar is white still though so i think this is a pretty cool cape though and then here is despair up close without the cape so here is his head sculpt so you get the uh, red eyes, you get that nice skull look there, which looks pretty cool, like drippy looking. So that's pretty cool. And then the rest of the body is basically black, except for the hands. Uh, this is the Sunfire, I believe, uh, body sculpt, which uh, was used on Cyborg Spider-Man. And I, f I think also the Webman figure. Um, so yeah, this is just completely blacked out with the white on the arms here, like a flame effect going on throughout the forearms. You get these fisted hands here. Still get peg holes, so that's when you know, and that's how you know this is a body mold that they've used before, uh, before using a new uh, pinless technology. So yeah, and then we get a peg hold there for, uh, the cape doesn't come with a peg, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, let's go over the articulation. So he has a disc ball joint, so you get his head can inch down that far, up that far, left and right movement. Not a whole lot of hip pivoting. Shoulders move out that far. You got butterfly joints that go back that far, four that far, 360 rotation there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows there. And then wrist hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation he has an ab crunch that goes down that far forward that far waist swivel 360 rotation legs kick it out that far forward pretty far backwards not a whole lot thigh cut double jointed knees you got shin cut here ankles hinge down that far up that far nice ankle pivot and then to get the cape on you kind of just want to pop the head off like that Put this over like that. Just kind of pop that back in. And then boom. So that's what he looks like there. So yeah, that is Despair for you. I think he's a pretty cool looking figure. Even for the body mold, it's just being pretty um, like basic for the paint job at least. But I love the accessory with the uh, ripped cape. That brings everything out a little bit more and makes him more, I guess uh more detailed i guess i like the cape i think is the centerpiece of this figure so if you don't have the cape on it it just doesn't look right quite right 
Um, but besides that, I think it's pretty good, like I said. Um, and the only thing I have a problem with is that I'm a little worried about the joints. I feel like they're, if I'm too rough with it, they're going to break. Um, so I feel like, I don't know if anyone else is... I, I could just kind of tell by the feel of it that it's, I feel like it's going to end up breaking at some point. So I'm going to be pretty careful around, the, I think, this knee and I think this elbow. So I think that's my only problem right now with this figure. Uh, articulation's pretty good. Came with the right amount of accessories. I don't know a whole lot uh, much uh, about the spare. I don't know if he has any certain powers or something that they get add more to the accessories. But yeah. But besides that, I think it's a pretty cool looking figure. I recommend you get him if you want to build Rintra. I don't know if it's a figure that everyone would want for their you know, collection. I don't know much about this uh, character. So, obviously, if you don't know much about it and you're not going to build Rintra, I'd just pass on it then. But, I think, like I said, he's a pretty cool looking figure. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really got for this figure. Uh, if you guys want to check out my link tree in my description, it has my TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, and all that stuff. Uh, if you want to help support me on those, uh, if you want a more brief, more like up to speed review, I also do reviews on my TikTok where it's just get to the point type of stuff. Um, but besides that, that's all I got. But yeah, thanks for watching.